Good morning, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. I got ready to go to the gym. I think I woke up around like 6.30 and it's around 8.30 right now. It's so gloomy, so I feel like I'm moving a lot slower. I'm getting ready to go to the gym right now. And I think I'm gonna try to get my nails done because this is not... This is not the vibe. So first things first is I'm gonna wash my face. I don't really properly wash my face. I just splash my face with some cold water. I make sure to wash off like whatever night mask I was using the night before. And then after that, I just use this anti-polyaging cleansing water. This is also what I use to take off my makeup sometimes. I just put some on a cotton pad, swipe it over. And then I just put on some sunscreen. I usually use this aloe soothing sun cream. And that's my skincare before the gym. Cause then when I come home and I shower, I do my full skincare routine. Also, I got these recently because I saw everyone on TikTok using them. They're so handy. I love them. She's just trying to buy. Hi, babies. Lately, I've also been trying to have a snack before I go to the gym because I'm someone that doesn't like eating anything before I go to the gym, but my appetite has been super, super low. And I find that when I eat earlier, like I just eat something earlier, it will help me eat more throughout the day. I've been eating these Cliff Kid Z bars. Hi. 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 Excuse me. Oh, good. Hmm. Hmm? I feel like I always show you guys my nighttime skincare routine and not my morning skincare routine as much. So I'm gonna walk you through my morning skincare routine. So I just got out of the shower. I wash my face in the shower. I use the same matcha cleanser that I use. And I also exfoliated with this Sweet Chef Ginger Vitamin C Power Shop Polishing Mask. This is what I use to exfoliate. I either use this or I use Cure. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Those are both very good exfoliators. I make sure my skin is a little damp before I apply Hyaluronic acid, this is from the lab. Tony Moly green tea, watery eye cream. I just set an appointment to get my nails done today. I'ma treat myself. Manicure and pedicure. Mm. And I love ice rolling. It feels so nice. I know it has some benefits. I don't know if they're really like that revolutionary, but I would recommend ice rolling solely for the fact that it just feels amazing. And then once all of that kind of has soaked in, I use another serum. This serum is vitamin C serum. That's from Dear Claire's. Let that soak in for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the I'm from rice cream I use this morning and evening and then for sunscreen I'm gonna use the same sunscreen that I used before I went to the gym which is this uh, the aloe soothing sun cream
Good morning, my loves. I'm getting ready. I'm going out to brunch with a friend of mine. Very excited. So it's currently nine in the morning and I just took a shower. I washed my hair. It's hair washing day. And now I'm gonna do my makeup. She's supposed to come here at, she said like 10, 10.30. So I have about like an hour and a half. I got plenty, plenty of time. I'm gonna be Ubering there, obviously. No drinking and driving, kids. I'm trying to do like different makeup looks than what I usually do. Maybe not the best idea to be doing this when I'm about to go out in public because it might turn out terrible. But I was watching like these TikToks last night of this woman doing makeup and it just looked so freaking cool. And like when I was younger, I wanted to be a makeup artist when I grew up and I just think makeup is so cool. So I want to get a little bit better at it. I have no idea what kind of makeup look I'm doing today. But I just want to try something like a little bit new. Not anything like innovative or unique but just like new from what i usually do you know because i usually do like one shade on my eyes a super sparkly shade and i call it a day i'm gonna step out of my comfort zone a little bit i'm gonna figure out a makeup look and i'll be back because my camera's dying oh hello I got back from brunch a few hours ago. We watched Legend of Korra together. We watched a few episodes and I'm still a little, I drank too many mimosas. <laughs> so I just made myself some like instant ramyun because that is just like the cure. therapy in 15 minutes so I don't really have time to like make and eat a proper meal so I'm just gonna have this little snack I'm gonna make this tuna rice bowl post therapy noms I haven't had this in a really long time I'm excited we use this vegan tuna sesame oil soy sauce fish sauce some garlic powder Kimchi mayo, which really brings everything together. You can also do sriracha mayo. Lots of sesame seeds. That's basically it. And I like to eat this with some seaweed. I have like three of these because I go through a lot of them. I don't know how people use just like one pack of seaweed and they're done. I need like three. Discipline for now. Why don't you and Pokey just have fun? Try to beat out to the president. Cora, let me explain. Oh, hello. Good 
dinner, I decided to just order one of my favorite places to get takeout, which is this place called Moon Bowls. You can basically like build your own bowl. So what I have here is sesame scallion rice, impossible beef, tofu, green onion, roasted broccoli, marinated cucumber, and sauteed mushroom, and peppers and onions. Very, very, very good. Also, this is all like with the gochujang sauce. And I also get these impossible beef pot stickers, which are delicious. So I'm gonna eat this while I continue to watch Legend of Korra because I am absolutely obsessed with this show. I got back from the gym. I went grocery shopping and something that I feel like I just, I need to try. What? These are like vegan hard boiled eggs. They come with black salt. And I'm just gonna try one because I'm so astonished. So I'm just gonna have one that's black salt with this egg. It smells like egg. It's really weird. <laughs> Whoa, that texture is so wild. Like the texture is an egg. Mm, I think I love it. If you like hard boiled eggs. The only thing that I don't think I'm the best person to ask about is the yolk. I'm enjoying the taste of it, but growing up, I haven't had hard boiled eggs in like forever. I only really had hard boiled eggs when I was a kid and my mom used to make them. We never had the yolk. I always had like the egg whites. And I think because of that, I like grew up not liking yolk. Well, like thinking I didn't like yolk, right? I have never, to my knowledge, like I have zero memory of ever having hard boiled egg with yolk. It was always the hard boiled egg white part, but it tastes like that. That's good. It might be really expensive though. Hold on. Plant based hard boiled eggs, they were $8.29, which I'd say is pretty expensive considering I don't know how much a normal carton of eggs is, but technically, since they're cut in half, this is only three eggs. So it's pretty expensive. Definitely like a luxury thing. It's almost $10 for three eggs, but they're they're pretty good. Just woke up a little bit ago from a fat nap. <laughs> I set an alarm for a 30 minute nap. I don't even remember turning the alarm off for anything. I set that alarm at 2.30. It is 5.41. So a little bit longer than a 30 minute nap. I don't think I've taken a nap in a hot minute. Oh, maybe I needed it. My goal was to, to edit all day because I canceled stream. I wanted to get some more editing done. Turned out I, I just, maybe I just needed some sleep. Like I say I just woke up, but I woke up maybe like 20 minutes ago. It's already almost six. So I guess I'll try to edit for a little while until I make some dinner. Super lazy day today. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Just super lazy day today. Mmm, it's so good.
what do we do when we are on the verge of a mental breakdown? We get tattoos. <laughs> I'm on my way to get some tattoos. Maybe two, I don't know. We'll see how I feel once I get there. In the mood to feel some pain and spend money. <laughs> we love to see it, we love to see it. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you guys are watching this on Thursday, May 11th, um, it is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. My birthday wish is that you all have an amazing, amazing day, amazing life, and you just achieve happiness. I hope we all achieve happiness and peace because we deserve it. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!